life will always be all right, you know that, touching moment Prince Harry comforts a six-year-old boy whose mother killed herself when he was one and tells him about his wife and baby on the way. Prince Harry consoled a six-year-old boy telling him life will be all right after discovering he had to lost his mother during a touching exchange on Tuesday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were on a walkabout at the viaduct in Auckland on their penultimate day of their royal tour and spent time greeting well-wishers who lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the royal couple. At one point Harry, 34, was introduced to six-year-old schoolboy Odin and by his grandmother teen aunt, 52 who passes the prince a letter that her grandson had written that morning. She then adds, he really looks up to you because he actually lost his mummy too. In a touching gesture Harry then takes the little boy's arm before asking how old he was when she died to which he replies, nearly one. Harry then tells him don't you worry about having just one parent, where is your dad? Oda's grandmother then explains that she has been raising him. Then looking Oda straight in the eye Harry says, life will always be alright, you know that? He continues, I made it to 34 years old and life is great I have a beautiful wife and a baby on the way, your life is going to be sorted don't you worry about that. The royal then even posed for a selfie with the beaming schoolboy. According to local news site news.com. Oh, the mother had taken her own life and father to be Harry was in high praise of Oda's grandmother. He told her, you're doing a great job. Nan. Nans are so important in our lives. Following their meeting with the royal the 52-year-old grandmother spoke to News Corp, and said, Harry just said everything will be fine, you will grow up to be strong and positive. Following their walkabout on Tuesday the royal couple joined the Prime Minister of New Zealand for a reception at the Auckland War Memorial Museum, who praised the incredible Duchess of Sussex for continuing to work while pregnant. Jacinda Ardern who gave birth to her own baby in June, lauded Meghan for the role she's playing at such an often tiring time, adding, I have real empathy and I think she's incredible. The PM praised the couple as they arrived for one of their final engagements on their tour of New Zealand, Australia, Fiji and Tonga which is now drawing to a close. The couple were a picture of elegance as they made their way into the museum. Harry looking dapper in a navy suit and unbuttoned white shirt and his wife in a navy asymmetric dress Antonio Barati dress, which retails at some £2,683. The Duchess recycled the gown which she wore back in May 2017 for her first polo event with Harry early in their relationship, at the Audi Polo Challenge in Kaworth. Berkshire. The mother and father to be will head home after visiting Rotorua, having spent four days in the land of the long white cloud. Earlier on in the day, Prince Harry and Meghan cut casual figures as they arrived to dedicate a 20 hectare area of native bush to the Queen's Commonwealth canopy in Auckland and partake in a spot of welly wangling. The Duchess of Sussex donned a 317 pounds blazer by New Zealand designer, Karen Walker, which she paired with Jay. Crew toothpick jeans and 120 pounds Wellington boots by Muck. Meghan accessorized her look with Barunga earrings, which were a present from the New Zealand president, Jacinda Ardern, and the swirl tattoo diamond pendant. She later ditched her Wellington boots for trusty Stuart Weitzman legend stilettos worth some 292 pounds, pairing them with a Brandon Maxwell customized version of the flutter sheath dress 1,413 pounds in Auckland. She then added a Burberry silk maith orange sleeve trench costing 1,869 pounds and wore her hair in a neat bun as she and Prince Harry attended the opening of a charity that supports children who have a parent in prison through mentoring schemes. At the evening reception, the Duke of Sussex also showed his impressive language skills are as sharp as his sense of humor as he addressed a reception in six languages.